Slate one, take one. Oh dear. I hope there's a fire alarm and we'll have to go home. I don't want to do it now. There's people sitting right in the back row. Must be a good sign. Please give it up for Matt Lucas and David Williams! Times, please. It's my only outlet. A lot of the characters from the radio series are there, but the sketches are the ones, the things that have tended to change because well, I think we probably thought that we would be able to use a lot more of the stuff from radio. Yeah, we, we just thought to... you'd, you'd take it, you'd look at it and go fine. But actually, a visual joke I've always thought is worth like a hundred sort of verbal jokes. And on, on radio, there are no official jokes really. Paul sort of could come in here sheepishly or something like that. <laughs> Picture yourself naked. Not nice, is it? Hey? Now who the hell would want a great lump like that huffing and puffing on top of them all night? <laughs> I'd go with Paul. It's always weird with names because you want to come up with for a name that's funny, but you don't want it to, yeah, like to a comedy character now. Yeah, you don't want it to, to ruin the credibility of the character in a way. Sometimes they're just completely invented names. Marjorie Dawes, that was Bob Mortimer's suggestion because that character came from Shooting Stars, I don't know. Mafanui is the name of our producer. Matthew Waterhouse sketches, they're all names of Doctor Who actors. Matthew Waterhouse played Adric in Doctor Who. He was a companion both to Tom Baker and Peter Davison's Doctors. <laughs> so he just used his name, it's just things like that. It's sometimes the little in jokes for us to enjoy and sometimes for the audience. Somebody definitely came in and bought it yesterday. That's right, it's got Asel Dean on the cover and a very informative article on on rimming, and you still haven't told me what that means. <laughs> <laughs> he actually blushed when I asked him when we did it. <laughs> yeah, that's because I don't know. <laughs> I'm uh, Terry the Builder today. I'm playing Doctor. And um, we decided to give him a bit of a cold, <laughs> give him a little bit of a texture, make it more of a scene, less of a sketch. Yeah, we're just doing a sketch where what is set in um, the hospital, and it's my mother. She's had a fall, and uh, so and then I try and pack her off into a home. So she's not ready to go to home. I try and pack her off into one. That's the sort of person I am. Still running, Steve? You want to go again? Yes, please. Right then, are we all sorted? Mickey? Yeah, ready. Yeah, we're sorted. Thank you. Thank you, Mount Paul and Ivy. We're all sorted. Here we go. It's 9.30. It's 9.30. 8, 10, I was peeking. Yeah. Go on, finish. Scene's dead, isn't it? I'm going home. Dead scene. What are we doing now? Same again for this. Oh, God. We were filming the Dr. Lawrence and Anne sketches. This is the first one. This actually originated out of the improvisation we did around at Steve Pemberton and Rishi Smith's house about... About five, what, well, about six, seven... Years ago. years ago now. Well, we just sort of mucked about with a video yeah. camera and we all came up with different ideas and this is one. Basically, Dave put a dress on over his clothes. 
some oh, funny glasses and started going. Julia <laughs> way. <laughs> somehow it somehow. And Reese kept going. Ah, Reese was holding the camera, I think. And right going, um, no. um. But whether uh, the public no, will find it funny. <laughs> 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 And, and worryingly, that's the director. <laughs> yeah, he's like, getting into character. Character ran. So really, we wrote a whole biog of her life. Uh, and she grew Steve, up. Uh, Matt and Steve. <laughs> Just so I could say the lines. <laughs> eh, eh, eh. <laughs> Um, today I'm doing Dame Sully. Right, I'm playing the role of Jesus Christ today. He's playing the role of Robert Powell as Jesus Christ. Oh, Jesus Nazareth. I've uh, had a chat with the, the BBC, you know, the producers of Little Britain, and said that it was okay to film in my garden for this uh, carpet sale. So we've sort of mocked up a carpet sale. We've hired a few thousand extras, um, some cars. Well, the story of the sketch is that Gary's mate comes in, Jason, and uh, he, he fantasises all the way through and he sees this old granny as a beautiful young woman, you know, and he makes sort of you know, all these kind of advances to her, you know. And says, oh, I forgot the salt, let me miss his leg. Right and then it's pretty much yes, as, as it is. Brilliant, so. thank you. And all this stuff about the Mormon <laughs> Tabernacle <laughs> Choir, that's <laughs> gone. <laughs> yeah, every costume person has loads of sovereign rings for some reason. It's like a kind of shorthand for sort of. <laughs> Common, oh, isn't it? Are you not hard in this? <coughs> Am I not hard? Are not hard in this, really? Not a no, not really. I'm just bloke. I specialise in playing bloke. I'm shooting for about 35 days. On location? Mm. And then five days. days. Yeah. So if you feel like shit now, that's a bad side. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> okay. Sometimes we both want to play things, sometimes we change. We should be writing it thinking as the character, not as me doing it. And I think it's a much better way of writing. Whereas if you're sort of, I don't know, your performance ego can get in the way a bit. The characters write themselves a bit. Mark it. Take two and six. Take two pick up. Stop! What a dreadful dad! Wilson, Denver, Joyce. She needs to see. Action. That, uh, uh, shall we just watch the video? Ah. Uh, yeah, better. Thank you. Is it finished? I have to go to the loo. <laughs> Slightly frightened of small children on mass. One of the old um, fruitmany bits, is that or is that? It's no fruitmany. No, oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> it's really bad. Vomiting. I had a son. The pressure of work. Dicky, dicky pork ribs the night before, and so that's what a true pro I am. Doctor Theatre. <laughs> they used to be friends of mine. Very good friends. Really very dear friends. <laughs> Looks great on the page. Come sunbathe in, in the rain. It's very miserable. It's the middle of May and it's raining and I'm quite glad the weather is bad because it means kind of we're not really missing anything. I can do a wheelie, what? I had to play Smurf. Smurf outfit and it was very difficult to say with these two things. 
but it just it actually affects my upper lip and makes my upper lip look kind of weird. I think I look I, look, I think I look slightly simian. I'm going in watching monster sucks. Bye. We did this sort of rock pro profile special, and I played Lou Reed and Matt played Andy Warhol. And we started doing this this bit because I spoke I spoke like that with a lift with Lou Reed, and I said, "What do you want for your tea, Andy?" He go, "Chips." I go, "Oh, you had chips for lunch. What are you gonna have for your tea? Chips like that." And that just kind of stuck in our mind. So we ended up sort of turning them into proper characters. But I sort of kept the vague sense of uh, Lou Reed's hair. We're playing about 60 characters each, but that does include when we're things like doctors and man, man and man. man and sketch. So as for actual comic characters, probably about three One. each, yeah. One between us. Yeah, hello. <laughs> this look isn't complete without the specs, though. Without the specs, it's just Mel Smith. This is like three, two, two, take one. And action. Right, I finished. Do you want to come and have a look? Please give a nice fat fashion's welcome to the Slimmer of the Year, Collect Roberts. <laughs> you are the Slimmer of the Year because you lost the most weight out of anybody. Just now I had to wander around in my underpants and a t-shirt that's not mine that's too tight fitting and play a slimmer of the year man Dave, very very talented and the radio show was hilarious and I think this is going to be very good too so um, oh it's it's much better than the office isn't it this <laughs> yeah what was that that was rubbish uh yeah this should win loads more BAFTAs I think and how can we eat the foods that we crave and still lose weight so cravings have gone wrong <laughs> Sorry, that's really me. She held it there. Shut up! I didn't mean nothing apart from any one thing, and like one other thing, like a few other things. But apart from that, I never did nothing. Have you been speaking to Wayne Dunn? Just let me tell you about Wayne Dunn, mate. Oh my god, it's so brilliant! Oh my god, it's so brilliant! You see my pet in school because there's no homework or lessons or nothing. And like the. Oh, sorry. I'm trying to compose myself. One day this really funny thing happened because this girl. Oh, sorry. I am the real Mickey. <laughs> this is where we shop the uh, school interiors. We also use this for um, one of the hospital exteriors as well. And over there, where that big light is, is where they're filming Judge John Deed. And these nails are stuck on. Then we've got other ones that Union Jack nails. But like I say, you can't go to the, you can't really lift anything or do anything with them. In fact, I had some nails on as Marjorie, but I had so much business to do with the pens and giving things out in the dye class, that I ended up getting rid of the nails. We did a, a Marjorie in the supermarket and a Lou and Andy, because it just makes sense. Our producer, <laughs> this is our producer, my family. They're great, my family more. I say, what's well, like simple? They go, right, here's a sketch in Life Swing. <laughs> yeah, but you've got to find the balance because you've got to write something simple and economical but you've also got to make your show look like no other show. The most more important more, thing is the jokes, you've yeah, got to I not lose touch with that. I think want to see something funny but I think that, that, that shows, so many shows have come along like The Office and The Gentleman or Long Family and Space which have been also brilliant shows, top and brilliant comedy shows. So I think people want a little bit more from their comedy yeah. and they sort of want it to be memorable. And Certainly in terms unique. of sketch comedy, like sketch The League of Gentlemen. Really just, to do another, just to do another sketch show now, I think, would be good. Yeah, it's really difficult. David was saying that this, doing Boris, and he had the bodysuit that was made for John Coleshaw, didn't you? Yeah. I don't know, I think Arnold Schwarzenegger or something. So it was very tight, and then he had a contact lens. He never complained, but he had a contact lens in. Give you a headache, didn't you? Honestly, How do you do it? How's honestly. it done? How? How? He, he acted hearing, with a slight headache. The, the mild discomfort <laughs> of an earring. How do, how do I carry on?
It was a full box here this morning. You've been scoffing again, heaven from Miss Grace. Right! What will we on? Uh, 77. Uh, he took her into his arms again, said he really did love her very much, and gave her another longish kiss. Well, that's always been Matt's problem, isn't it? Yeah, that's He's arrogant. Yeah. Hi. 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 Yeah. Mark begged to play this part. <laughs> Give me this job, you shit. Mark, um, <laughs> script edited the series as well. I'm just writing the scripts now. It's <laughs> quite <laughs> finished. Yeah. I think you've made a little sort of cameo as well. It'd be quite a sort of treat. Well, it was nice like, because I kind of cherry picked this one. I liked this one. Yeah. yeah. But it'll be just quite a treat for viewers to suddenly okay. see you, I think. Well, see, I want to be Nicky Pollard and... Yeah. <laughs> it's very hard. You know what's great, I think, is when you're, you're in sort of quite thick woolen pajamas <laughs> and you've got a wig on and a tie on. It's very, very hot. <laughs> but a very, very energetic sketch to do. And you've just had lunch. You've sort of eaten a bit too much as well. It's very, con very conducive to full energy. Oh, I forgot all about this. <laughs> yeah. Oh no. Buongiorno. Good morning, how are you? How are you feeling? I'm alright. You get used to it after a while. Actually, this is a later call for me, because usually I get up about 20 to 6. We're doing three sketches today with this character, um, Bernard Chumley. So I'm looking forward to that because... Um, uh, used to do that character on the circuit. It was sort of the first character that I ever did. The, certainly the early stuff we used to do live was very divisive because it was very it was very rude and it was very juvenile as well. And that was the main criticism directed against the, the Bernard Chumley TV series was how juvenile it was. And this is what a film set looks like. Lots of white trucks. Yeah. We'll put the back piece on. This is Bernard Chumley's toupee box. <laughs> we have a vast selection of delightful looking dead things. <laughs> One for every occasion. <laughs> That's the producer. That's yeah, we know that. Producer, my family more. Yeah, this is the eyebrow tour. Yes. Can you put names to the different eyebrows? Kimberly, Roger, <laughs> Tony, <laughs> Guy, <laughs> Simon, also Simon. <laughs> Hello, I'm here. Um, <coughs> ah, you must be Joe. Yes. Yes. Come in, young Joe. It's the uh, room on the end. Yeah. I think my lips are a bit more fleshy. I asked for four dogs, and I've just got sleep, so I think I'm not really doing their jobs. Yes, I heard it, Kitty. Oh, yes, yes, do come in here. Come with me, and we'll go watch a video on Snoopy. Hello, I'll start again. Hello, I'll start again. Hello, I'll start again. Hello, you'll join us in Hearn Bay. We've just arrived in Hearn Bay. It was extremely hot Friday and Saturday. We had Sunday off. We've come here Monday morning. And the weather is like this. Set. <laughs> we should know big ladies. <laughs> oh, and here's mine now. Oh. You normally wear this anyway, don't you? Yeah. I know they are. You wear it just evenings, don't you? <laughs> Weekends, don't you? I often come round to write to his flat and he's just like that. It's no big deal, is it? Again and again and again. <laughs> to the last drip of comedy is wrenched out of this. Right, George. <laughs> well, he does play very well. Mm. Yeah, that's really good that he does. See? 30 years at the RSC and this is why we write like this. Yeah, bloody low budget rubbish. Here we are in Hearn Bay. 
Tell him how good it was. It was good. Out of ten. <laughs> ten. Ten. And I've got eight minutes before we're away to dinner and two shots to do. So let's I would have said four, but uh, generous. Little Britain, seven eight six, take four. He does, his, he does all his own walking. All my own walking. He won't let anybody do his walking. I don't, you know, come on, I've had the training. <laughs> and that's the end of our sketch. If we have lots of series of little breakfast, I'll be able to afford to have an ice cream Mr. Whippy pump in, um, installed in my kitchen. That is pretty much what I now want to, you know, my ambition really. That and have a chimp. I definitely want a monkey. Yesterday we were in Herne Bay and today we're in somewhere near Henley where they filmed the Vicar of Dibley apparently. Yeah. Very shiny Susie, yeah? Let's <laughs> on. I'll pretend I was looking over there. Shining. <laughs> Hello, damn it! Come and hear me, Miss Vicar. Uh, sorry. Alright, then I'm not. He likes it. Where would we be without my family? I just brought so up his ITV. That's what they rely on. <laughs> <laughs> well John folks, that's a wrap. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Can't believe just the source of his eyes. Matt, do you ever wear stuff like that at home? Frequently. Yeah, lots of nipple. <laughs>
you know, as women, don't they? Yeah. Okay. All look like she's away. I'd like to work again after that. <laughs> Being a lifeguard was actually a job for me. Was that? Yeah, me. Um, also Simon Pegg. It's a strange two coincidences. Both worked as lifeguards in our sort of summer holidays and both went to Bristol University. All Vicky's friends have renamed themselves, all kind of melody and harmony. But anyway, Shelley Bentley gave Craig Cameron a blow in the shallow end for a bite of the funny part. I asked you if you pushed that girl in the pool. You, because I would never do that, because I... Got it? <laughs> do it when they pick out from the wing. Yeah. You, yeah. because I would never do that, because once I... Just... <laughs> you, because I... <laughs> you, because I would never do that, because... <laughs> you, because I wasn't even there, because I was... <laughs> Sorry, I was just chuckling. <laughs> right, take six. Um, action! Other than that, other he's than fine. that, he's yeah. fine. He's a kerfuffle getting him in and a kerfuffle getting him out, but other than that, he's relatively kerfuffle free. The kerfuffle getting him in is rather getting him out, but can't let him go kerfuffle free. Just lowering him very gently down into the water. And cut! <laughs> uh, we are here recording Tom's bits. So Tom Baker is in the booth just over there. And we do all our episodes with him one day, so it's, it's quite a lot to do, isn't it? Let's do it! <laughs> Tom, can we just do it like... <laughs> <coughs> like you've received a, a, a dirty phone call at the end, like someone uh, has made a... a so the, just the line is, um, hello? No, I'm not wearing any knickers. And then we'll put, put the sound effect of a, of a ringing phone and then you say, hello? No, I'm not wearing any knickers. The camera straight. This is always our absolute first choice to do this. And yeah. And you were having so much fun with those um, deep south <laughs> phrases. Oh, you just can't yeah. imagine anybody else. We go, oh, say, oh, mama, <laughs> and you do it. Mama. It's fantastic. Oh, mama. How does it feel to be like the voice of Britain, Tom? Well, I mean, I agree with it entirely. That's why the boys <laughs> gave it to me. So, I mean, you know, I'm playing these kind of uh, pompous, reactionary, nostalgic uh, sentiments, which are so, which are matters of fun. The reason why I can do them so well is I actually. <laughs> Believe it. <laughs> All right, once we got the knee pads on, folks, we'll shoot this. That's Luke. He plays the miniature Dennis Walsman from behind. But even he so isn't small enough, and um, he's got to go on his knees. We haven't explained to him what the whole sketch is about because I think if you're nine, it's like, do you remember mine? No. Do you know this guy Dennis Walsman? No. Well, we've done a joke where he's got a miniature, right? Lovely, do send it in. Yeah. Hello. Oh, that's a big dog. Have you not met all of it? They do start rehearsals on Monday. Well, that's not much time, is it? To write a new theme tune? There's no music in it whatsoever. Well, how does it start, then? Shake his hand. <laughs> Aside from the fact that we've got sketches to do, uh, you know, to perform, and, and hopefully they'll go down well, to me it's... I'm equally as curious to see how the material that we've shot on location over the last seven weeks will play in. It's 
so should we go out? Can I just say, this is before we shoot, we always have a dance, don't we? <laughs> <laughs> Does my skirt work? It's a little bit of a dance. Yeah. It's a way for grown men to make a living. Yes. Huh? You get a proper job. The artists are ready. The creators of Little Britain. What can I say? Except will you please give it up for Matt Lucas and David Wyatt? David, do you like Elvis? Yes. So do I. They're really helpful to Father Christmas at Christmas time. <laughs> where, oh yeah, where do you, David, where do you live? I love dogs. I love dogs too, but David, where do you live? Samantha's very good at oral. I don't know if you noticed. Five words, all in the right order. Thank you. Well, well, it's very late. Did you pass You've come too far. Tash, come on. BBC. Tash, come on. BBC. Should we just stand in the light a little bit over here? No light over there. BBC. <laughs> yeah! <laughs> <laughs> no more magic beans at all! On the table behind that there is Matt Lucas' mother. <laughs> I get stabbed in the back with a <laughs> You've been sitting here blunt time, table knife. What <laughs> <laughs> made them pluck me out? <laughs> something even rem even remotely colourful or outrageous when I go out. I don't know why, but I wouldn't, and certainly not to a nightclub. But I would think nothing of wearing it on TV. I agree, it's very slimming. Shall I go, Mel, yeah? Yeah. In five, four, three, two, one, zero. I wish there were more... Th oh, sorry, I've already cut it <laughs> This is the edit suite where it all sort of comes together and everything happens. This place has been a hot of activity. This is the editor, a Macola Pollock. We're going to have to treat it so that it sounds. Yeah. Once it's treated, I'm sure it'll be fine. Get out. All right! How we've done it is every single sketch has got a card, it's got its duration, it's got everything on it. And basically, for the last few weeks, all we've done is sit and swap this huge jigsaw puzzle around. Now it's all done, it's all edited, and we're putting the show together. I'm ready to see the back of all this now, I have to say. I've known David and Matt for a few years anyway, and. Uh, they, when they when they started doing the radio show, I think I probably volunteered for it before they asked me. I was very grateful. Oh, we kept talking about all the different things that it should and shouldn't be, and in a way, it needs to be everything simultaneously. You know, just feeding from the characters, which are you know people who, as far as they're they're concerned, don't appear to have anything wrong with them. The, the music sort of reflects that reaching out for 
uh, something which is sort of just beyond your grasp. I mean, it's just the most obvious hitting the nail on the head as plainly and as boldly and as you know unashamedly as, as you can. Writing and performing comedy is probably one of the easiest things in the world. They'll tell you that. That's the end, so hopefully, come back next year if we have another series. Yeah. Thank you very much for coming tonight. Ha, 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 ha.